The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. We're going to take a look at the German DAX. As you can see here, we have completed a bearish Gartley up here. Uh, it's actually one of the better indices today uh, holding up. And if we want to take a look at the FTSE, which will be the next one we look at, the one from the UK, you'll notice that we're also completing a Gartley, but it's just a little bit higher up at the 0 0.707, which is the reciprocal of the square root of 2, which is 1.414. That has something to do with electricity, but it's a little bit beyond my pay grade. But Dr. Al Larson explained it to me once, but uh, that's neither here nor there. We had a request to review that coffee that we talked about yesterday. And I think it's it's worthy of, uh, of taking a look at it because uh, I wanted to show you this is the... Uh, ETF for coffee, it's J-O, evidently J-O-E had been taken. So you'll notice that the uh, the chart, the regular bar chart is the J-O-E, the ETF, and the blue line is the spot coffee chart. Now you'll notice the spot coffee has already started to turn up. We had a low of 90 and change, we hit 92 this morning, so there's a possibility that, that Gartley we had here uh, in this J-O-E uh, might be holding, but the, the amount of risk here is rather small because that is a small Gartley pattern uh, over the last two weeks in the JO. And I don't, you know, I don't trade ETFs, but um, that's what you're looking for is that type of a, a pattern. I'm basically watching coffee because, you know, it's got that long term pattern that looks extremely interesting and it is uh, holding up relatively well. I probably should, by the way, folks, we have a really uh, special guest today, as always, and that will be none other than Samuel Archibald Arrington Hicks Crawford from Crawford Perspectives, and he'll be on uh, at the break. Here's the uh, long-term coffee chart here, folks. Uh, we've actually backed off this. We got down to that. Uh, we took that last uh, little low out and then backed up again. So this is still important. We made that 1.27 expansion down there at 87. So it does have a chance, uh, you know, to uh, turn from here. We're starting to see signs in the grain markets, especially in corn and wheat, that we've had some type of a uh, bottom forming. And the beans have not done that yet, but the corn and beans have shown some pretty good strength here recently. But let's get to the uh, two things that I really wanted to cover uh, that I think are extremely important. And one is we, we look at these Fibonacci numbers all the time and a lot of folks out there say, well, these things really, you know, don't work very well. And you know what, folks, some of the time they don't, but some of the time they do. And we try to focus on the times when they do, because that's what we think is our edge. We'd add a little pattern to a little bit of Fibonacci, put it in the mix, uh, add a little heat, add a little uh, freezing, whatever it takes, and take a look at it. But you'll notice here, this is the weekly chart for uh, 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 Microsoft, and we never did get above the 1.618 expansion. It was absolutely to the tick. And then if you want to really uh, put the pedal to the metal, this is one that we brought into your attention yesterday, folks. This was not uh, by mystery that we brought this up because we said that there was going to be a strong probability that the Apple could make that 215 level, which was the exact 78% retracement of the high that we made, you know, way back in September. That was to the tick, folks, within two cents. And then, of course, it backed off $5 from there. Now, if Apple should happen to gap down today, and I don't think it is, that would leave an island reversal, and that is an extremely bearish pattern. But uh, I don't think it's going to gap down. I don't know what the early morning indication is on Apple, so I, I don't really know. But if it's trading under 210, I believe, well, it's got to trade below 210, David, and I think if it did that, then you'd be able to see a potential for a uh, island reversal, and that would really be 
not not a very good uh, uh, well that's not a very good pattern in the statement of the year that's something that is uh, is pretty nasty uh, the other question that someone brought to our attention is one of the things that we had in the newsletter of course was this uh, one, two, three, four, five, expanding triangle, also known as the reverse point wave. Uh, within that, you see there's a three drive to a top pattern. Uh, we've had a little bit of a sell-off in the NASDAQ. Uh, it was the one that really started the whole party yesterday after the um, Federal Reserve came in and uh, shocked the market for a tiny bit. Whether that means anything or not, you know, we have to uh, wait and see. But the pattern that we were looking at on that was on the on the weekly chart. But if you remember, we were looking at this chart on the uh, NASDAQ uh, for over the last uh, two weeks was making lower highs. As you can see that, that's that 135 pattern that uh, is very, very popular because it has some symmetry. It's got good uh, ratios, high probability of working. And those are the kind that you want to look at. If you want to see this again, this this is the one we talked about just about a week or so ago. Oh dear, hold on one second here. We've got we got gold heading down, folks. I'll cover the gold. We we knew the gold was no good yesterday once the platinum gave up and silver was giving up. But let's just take a look here at this 135 pattern as it relates to the crude oil. You'll notice that the crude oil back on between the 23rd and the 25th, you'll notice that 135 pattern. Look at that lovely symmetry. Now, if it were making new highs, it would be a, a, a three drive to a top pattern, one, two, three. But when it's making lower highs, uh, it is, or higher lows, it's a one, three, five pattern. So that's how you define these patterns. You have to give them a, a certain amount of uh, leeway as far as you know what what they're supposed to do, and the leeway is very very small. I mean, you've you've got to get them nearly perfect, and that keeps your losses you know relatively small. I'm going to. Uh, the uh, the small T6. You're right, Marshall. There's a T6 on the daily, but that that I'm going to cover the silver and the gold and the platinum when we come back from the break because that that needs our attention. We've been waiting for this for a very long time, and we're coming into this new moon. And none other than our good friend, uh, Mr. Calls it to the minute, Winsky will be on tomorrow. And we've got Samuel Archibald, Arrington Hicks Crawford today. So we've got the Astro Weekend, uh, Thursday and Friday, uh, showing up. But there is a small uh, T6 pattern. But frankly, the way these things are acting, Marshall, uh, it looks like we're heading to those big numbers that we've been waiting for uh, in gold. But we'll cover that when we when we get back uh, from the break. But I do want to, I did want to mention to you that. Um, we will cover that because it needs to be covered. I believe that the um, the Treasury bonds have already started the down move. We couldn't get any higher than 148.10. And then when the the, uh, the folks came out uh, at the Fed and told us that there was probably not going to be an interest rate reduction, uh, then the market sold off a little bit. But it was already oversold and, and ready to move lower. The key is uh, what's going to happen to this uh, the metals and also the U.S. dollar. Those are the ones that are going to be uh, very, very interesting to look at uh, over the weekend because they're set up for big moves. The question is, is whether they're going to happen or not, and we don't know that, but neither does anybody else. So what we have to do is decide how much we're going to risk if we're going to put something uh, together here. So we want to pay attention to this and uh, as we lock, walk through here. And then we'll, also, we'll also talk about the cattle and the hogs a little later in the show, too. We'll have enough time. 877-927-6648. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. 
the TAS Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of TAS Market Profile, the TAS Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the TAS Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at TAS has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the TAS order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the TAS Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, let's take a look at the platinum because yesterday we talked about that, the importance of that really dark line up there, the old highs. That's what that refers to. And once we went below that 877 level, that was not a good sign. And now we're quite a bit. We're about $20 below that line uh, already and heading lower. Uh, we do have a big lunar cycle coming up here on Saturday with the new moon. Uh, Norm will talk about this tomorrow. And uh, but it's going to be interesting because we've got some really interesting patterns coming in silver. And also, uh, hold on, I can walk on water too, Bill, but it has to be frozen at least for three weeks before I'll try it. But uh, I can walk on water. Hold on one second here. Uh, we'll take a look at the silver. You can see here we're trading below 1470 this morning. Well, folks, we're only we're only 20 some cents away from what we're looking at, 30 cents away. From that 1440 level and it looks like it's written in stone that it wants to get there and my guess is it'll either be tomorrow uh, or Monday would be my guess um, if it gets there on uh, tomorrow I'll probably buy it over the weekend but you know we'll, we'll, we'll watch it very closely now the other possibility on this gold and silver is it they could just you know <laughs> this might be a major failure and we could be heading down we've seen this over and over again in some of these things how they uh, how they completely, you know, give up the ghost and you just uh, you just can't stand in front of it, you know, and so you've got to be extremely careful. But here's the gold. This is the one that we've been waiting for for a very long time. Uh, this was yes, as of yesterday's prices. I didn't put the new ones in yet because we've, we've already started down. And uh, right after the Fed came out, it got to 1288. That was nothing more than a little 382 retracement of that previous high. It was an ABCD on a 15-minute chart. And then we've broken down now, and we've taken out those lows at 1270 this morning. And that really sets up uh, that number that we're looking at down here that most probably somewhere between 1255 uh, and um, 
possibly even 1240, which is the bigger 61% retracement. The, um, the head and shoulders pattern is still in effect. Now, remember now, we were looking for a full moon here on April the 20th, but that was way too early. But now, with the fourth coming up here, uh, that's going to be a new moon. So that's going to be real interesting. You notice the other two bottoms that we had were full moons, and maybe this is going to be a new moon. And the other al alternative is it's just flat out going to fail and break down big time, which is possible because many of these commodities, as we've seen in all the stuff, is going to be, uh, you know, going to be looking at. As someone said that the gold is breaking badly here, so let's say, oh, it's not breaking badly. It's only 1268. No, we're looking at that to get down to the uh, uh, 12. Uh, I believe that the actual level is around 1260 uh, to 1255 is what we're watching. So uh, we're sort of keeping an eye on that, uh, of course. Now the crude oil, I, you know, that chart that I posted earlier sets up a really big ABCD, which will be an important one. In fact, we could probably show that here uh, today. Uh, just give me one second to get it up here, and you'll be able to see it. But, um, yeah, it's, see, we got another bucket to go, buck and a half to go uh, down in the crude. Give me one second to get this out to you folks, and you'll be able to uh, take a little look at it. But it's, it appears that that's what it wants to do. And uh, give me a second here. I almost got this thing figured out as far as how to get the charts up without screwing up. And uh, this is getting better and better, so we'll see if this is working. Let's get this up here. Uh, yeah, there we go. Hold on. A 1% move is nothing to a wise, savvy, savvy guy like Larry. What Larry are you talking about, Larry Williams? Okay, here's, the, here's that ABCD pattern on the hourly crude going over the last couple of weeks. That comes in at 60.50. That's a buck and a half a barrel from where we are right now. And uh, that'll be an interesting one you know, to take a, uh, to keep a look at. So watch it very closely. Now, would, uh, can someone tell me where uh, Apple is trading? Because if Apple gaps down below uh, 210 and doesn't look back, that is, uh, that is going to be a very interesting, uh, very interesting thing to, uh, to take a look at. So we'll watch that one uh, very closely also. All righty, let's move on to the next one that we wanted to cover. That was the, uh, the hog market. You'll notice that we, we talked about the hog market yesterday having good support down there at that 89 level, uh, 88.50. We got up to 91.25. We're a little bit higher than that today. We cannot go below 88.50, folks, or that would be uh, a pattern that was most probably fail. And if you'll remember, uh, on the cattle, we were looking at the same thing in cattle yesterday. And here's one, uh, here's one, for, the, uh, from one for the record books. And uh, you'll notice here that we did get below that one. Well, we're, we're trading exactly at 111 right now. But once we went below 112, that told us that there was something wrong because the 112 was the exact 1.618. So, you know, below 112, <laughs> this, you didn't want that. That's what we were trying to bring to your attention. Look how many days in a row we've been down, folks. We've been down for two weeks now. We made that 78% level up there at uh, 120. We're now 10 cents a pound. That's four grand in two weeks. You know, that's a heck of a move. And now we're, we're uh, approaching the 78% uh, 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 level of the low from August. So this thing is very over oversold, but uh, where it's going to bounce from, you know, we'll have to be able to see what's going on. Uh, and Maria is saying back to the April 1st, one month wipe out uh, a spy pattern here. I don't know what a spy pattern is, dear, but you're pretty sharp. So why don't you share that with us? And so we all will learn something. Thanks, Maria, for posting your stuff. You've done a great job. Uh, with these, and we, we really appreciate it. And also, everybody that posts in here, you got some really smart people in the den, and it's really uh, interesting to see the type of things that they follow, and um, it's, uh, it's, it's quite interesting, and I, I enjoy it. That's why I, that's why I do this. We will have Arch Crawford as our guest here uh, in the half hour, but we want to cover a couple other things here that uh, the Euro, uh, let's just get that up. Uh, did I do that one right? Oh, please tell me I did it right. Oh, not quite. Uh, just when I thought I had it ready, I don't have it ready. Let's move it up here. 
Okay, there it is. Get up here. Here it is. Here's the euro. I meant to update this this morning, but I didn't. So hold on just a second here. You know, we got up to the 112.50, folks. 112.60 was actually the high. That was a 61% retracement of the high. We've now broken down back below the 112 level. Uh, if we get below 110, 111.10, boy, well, we are in big trouble. Because if that's all there was with a two-day rally in this, uh, it doesn't look like it uh, is going to be very, very popular uh, you know, to the upside. So that means that the U.S. dollar index has still got a chance, you know, for, uh, you know, much, much higher prices that we've talked about, you know, more than once here. But those are the main ones. Remember, folks, we've got some major patterns completing in the Hang Seng. We've got them completing across in Shanghai, uh, the FTSE, the DAX, uh, and even in our market, and ours been the strongest, and we've had some, you know, potential really big patterns here in some of these. So it's uh, it should be very, very important to pay attention to. Uh, I'm going to take a look at November beans, and we will do that. And when we get back from the break, I'll post the November bean chart for you, Mr. Z. I'm looking at uh, I'm looking at Monday. Anyway, let's uh, let's have Arch Crawford as our guest here, and he's going to talk to us about uh, stock market and some of the patterns that he's looking at. And we're going to discuss Elliott Wave a little bit also. 877-927-6648. Keep those cards and letters coming in, folks. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Okay, we're back, folks, and we have Arch Crawford of Crawford Perspectives, Tucson, Arizona, on the line. Arch, how you doing? How are you? I am hanging in there pretty good. Hey, you just had a birthday a few weeks ago, Bubba. You're now one year older than me for a few months. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they say, yep. <laughs> yeah. Sam, you sent us a really cool-looking chart on the uh, stock market. Do you want to give us an idea of what you're looking at here? The whole world is bullish. Uh, I'm bearish, but uh, what are you seeing here in stocks? Well, I, I sent you three more charts in about 10 or 15 minutes ago. Which one are you talking about? Uh, this one, I'm looking at the gold chart, the one that uh, the SP, I was being, the SPX okay, chart, and then there, yeah, and then, that we, was, that was, then I'll do the monthly after that. Do the Dow Jones weekly, and then we'll do the monthly one after that. Okay. Um, Go ahead. The one I sent you is the chart of gold is, is monthly. So you can see the high back in September of uh, 2011 and the uh, pattern that it's been forming for the last, uh, what is it, two, four, six, seven years. And it's been uh, the, the high of it back a while ago or the more, the heavier resistance is at 1365 to 1400. And... Uh, but the, ri the bottoms have been rising uh, since um, late 2015, early 2016. And so it looks like it's forming an ascending triangle, and hopefully it will break out to the upside eventually. Um, I'm hopeful about gold. I think you should always hold some just for insurance purposes. Mm -hmm. But uh, trading-wise, it's... Um, diddling around right now. It's pulling back the last four weeks uh, mm -hmm. to its, what is it? Uh, we have the red line on here is the 50-month moving average. And the 200-month uh, the moving average is uh, rising is a little bit above 1,000 right now. That, mm -hmm. I think, will eventually push it higher and probably much higher. Uh, and that could happen, I said, uh, it could happen, you know, two or three years from now, or it could happen tomorrow. <laughs> Gold is that, <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Gold is that way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Sam, what are you seeing in the oil market? I've got your chart here of uh, the oil. That looks real interesting, too. It looks like we're turning down. Uh, let me see the oil chart. Yeah, yeah it looks a little toppy temporarily <laughs> here. It has, it has pretty heavy support. At uh, 60, you've got the uh, the red line is the 50-day moving average, and the and the blue line is the 200-day moving average. The 200-day is uh, declining somewhat, and the 50-day is fairly strongly up. So, uh, within a, within a few days, we're going to get a, a golden cross on that. Just that uh, it, it should. Um, it is usually counted as a strong sign, but right now uh, the chart pattern looks a little toppy, and it could go down as far as um, 54 without being tremendously negative. Or um, at 60, I think I want to see how the action goes when it gets down to 60 or, and around those moving averages. So it might uh, hold there and turn back up. But right now it looks a little bit toppy. Uh, Arch, uh, you know, yesterday the Federal Reserve came out and said they possibly were not raising interest rates. But, you know, I believe that the Fed follows the market, doesn't set the trend. But you've got a really interesting chart here that I'd like to share with the folks on the 10-year uh, uh, Treasury notes. Uh, this is not a bullish chart, in my opinion. We've got uh, lower tops and lower bottoms all the way through here, and that certainly doesn't look like a bullish chart to me. Okay. Uh, what do you CNX. think? Yeah, this is the weekly, mm -hmm. and it shows the long-term downtrends, and the base and the and the look, looks like seven-year <clears throat> also flat in this uh, as it is in the gold, um, although the. We made highs more recently. I think it was around 3.24 or something like that. And mm -hmm. we have had two legs sharply lower. We may ha have one more. But, again, the uh, 
the 200-week moving average is uh, only a little further down. Let's see, that would be 225. That would be 230 something, or two, uh, between 230 something and uh, 24, 2.4, 2.3, and 2.4. There's strong support, um, but the the trend is down now, mm -hmm. um, and it's back in to the long-term downtrend picture unless something else changes radically. Um, so actually, I would look for, I don't know, maybe long, long-term, uh, two to two and a half, and then, uh, then a long, that could start a long-term uptrend that would last for years. But um, it's not there yet. It looks like it tried to. Mm -hmm. And um, failed up there at three, three and a quarter. Sam, the next one we want to talk about, of course, is the uh, the stock market. And you've got an interesting Dow Jones chart here showing this uh, triple top up here. I mean, uh, the whole world thinks this thing is uh, going to go straight up from here. Uh, this looks like a pretty ominous pattern to me. I mean, I'm <laughs> that's just from. <laughs> well. Um... The, uh, the one on the S&P looks even more dangerous, but uh, it is what it is so far, a triple top. And, um, you know, it's blo these markets have blown through all the other resistances coming up here, and they could possibly <clears throat> blow through this one. But yeah. uh, I would say this is the more dangerous one that we've seen. Mm -hmm. Is there anything astrological that's out there that would uh, have some negativity to put the, the market, uh, you know, lower? Um, the real big problems don't show up uh, until October, November, and, and really seriously in January. Uh, so I'm not – I'm looking for more continuation – uh, you know, it could still go down pretty far and still be in these patterns. Mm -hmm. uh, so it could have that kind of a thing, and, and, a, and a pullback now would be seasonal, uh, since the seasonal high tends to be around uh, late April and early May. Um, but I don't think we're going to get a huge decline, and uh, I'm looking for that later, certainly. Well, because well, we're way overbought <laughs> for, yeah. for any kind of reason. <laughs> hey, listen, Sam. I want to thank you for joining us today. And how would the folks, uh, you know, reach you if they'd like to take a look at your newsletter? Do you have your uh, what's your best way of uh, connecting with you? Well, um, the new newsletter, the May newsletter, will be out on Monday. I'll be writing that this weekend, and uh, my website is CrawfordPerspectives.com. Uh, the How many years you've been doing it now, Sam? Um, as of this month, 42 years. Shut the front door and raise the rent. Hey, brother, Started, thanks for uh, joining the us. This one was May the 24th of 1977. Wow. Thanks a lot, Sam. And the phone number's in the phone book and on the okay. website. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when 
when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the gold report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your gold report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Directions Daily S&P 500 Bull and Bear Leveraged ETFs. Direction Leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour, next on TFNN. Okay, folks, when we get back here for just a second, I want to uh, go over the um, the gold market i believe this is what we're going to do right now is you'll notice here I, oh dear i hope i haven't i don't think i've covered the gold yet have i uh yes i think i did shut the front door and raise the rent let's move on let's move on to uh something else i did cover gold platinum and silver you're correct i already did that sorry boys and girls this is what happens when the uh old uh, i know the uh, i haven't covered it all right we'll do it right now let's just get through with the gold and well we should cover it twice because i think this is where we're going anyway you'll notice uh, on the gold here we're looking for a price level somewhere around that 1260 to 1255 we're trading at 1267 right now that's uh, relatively pretty close by if we look at the silver uh, silver's below the uh, 1470 level now. That means we're most probably, and I thought I covered this, Ruby, but maybe I didn't. And uh, then, yeah, I'm sure I did. But then we're looking at it for 1440 in the silver. That's Monday. We got that new moon coming in uh, on tomorrow. So that's going to be an interesting one. Not only that, folks, but if you look at the silver from your November high to your February high down to where you are right now, that's a squaring of price and time. In other words, a number of moves up and the number of moves down uh, are equal. So that's uh, that's a very interesting uh, thing to look at. But um, And then the platinum, we've already talked about that. That just looks absolutely horrible. So, you know, we're going lower in these metals until we finally reach some type of a bottom in here. I've said several times this week, uh, you know, that uh, we bought that last Wednesday, as uh, I recall, that GDX, and, you know, we recommended putting a stop at break even uh, on, on the show several times, but uh, we'll see if we can get some of these other things lined up. Let me show you a very interesting trade situation, folks. If you want to trade with minimal risk, I'm going to post a chart here. Now, I don't know if this is going to happen or not. But this is, uh, if I were, tr this is not a commodity, but if it were, this is what I'd be watching today. You'll notice Apple. We have the big ABCD from March. That's perfect. Uh, you, you had a beautiful uh, pullback right at the, uh, uh, right near the 38% level. Uh, you went up and you made the ABCD pattern. The 78% level was spot on at 215 and change. Uh, we're trading at 211.24 right now. The low yesterday that you have to worry about is at 209. 83. Now, if you close in the lower part of this range today, and you're still in that red box, but you got to be near right at the lows, you got to be right at that low so that you haven't filled that gap. But you want to be able to be right at the lows today. Apple's got to close right on its uh, bupkis, but not 
not any lower than 208. If it's lower than 208, it's already filled the gap, and that, that gap won't be there. And then what happens is if you come in Monday morning and that gap's down, you just put your stop at uh, break even on the day, and you're going to make a lot of money because that is an island reversal. And uh, when that happens, those patterns are just flat out. Uh, they're, they're monsters, as we've seen before. And when they fail, you can get out of them unless there's a news item, which there is sometimes at Apple. But that's the kind that you'd want to be watching because if it gets there, you know, you'd be looking at that very, very closely. Uh, Mr. Z on Lyft, I believe Lyft is going to 52 and a half, buddy. There's a big ABCD down there on the hourly. So that's what I'm watching. Maybe it'll come out when this uh, other one, um, Uber, comes out. But, you know, the, these uh, IPOs that are coming out are very similar to what we had in 2000, folks. Hell, they don't have any earnings. They have huge debts. Uh, you know, they have great potential, but that stuff happened in 2000. Remember WorldCom? You remember, uh, what was the other one? Uh, Global Crossing? You know, I mean, <laughs> all those had great potential, too, and look what happened. So Enron, another one. So be, be very careful. It's not how much money you make, it's how much money you don't lose. You've got to think like that slot machine. And that is, I've taken in $1.2 million and I've given out, and you're the one that has to decide when you want to play, taking the responsibility for it, and keeping your losses as near uh, to the, the as close to the pocketbook as you can, but not too close. And that's a, that brings up an interesting question: how how close do you put your stop? Well, if you if you're trading a daily chart, if you if you pick out three percent of um, I know it is Mr. Z. You know, it, it, there's no question about that. You're you're really an excellent trader, and I think everybody in the room and every followed you. My God, you got some incredible stuff. But uh, but you, you've got to decide if you're trading a 15-minute chart, you can only risk, you know, two or $300 or something. But if you're trading a daily chart, you're probably going to have to risk more because the, the, the swings are going to be greater. So that's what you have to decide first is what time frame you want to trade and then move on, you know, to that level. That's the, the whole key to some of the things that, uh, that we're watching here. But watch that Apple because if it closes on the lower part of the range today, that's going to be a real interesting, uh, really interesting one. Now, I wanted to spend just a moment here with uh, Copper, the old Dr. Copper here, uh, because this is a daily chart. We had, uh, if you'll notice, we had the double top. Between January and May, that was a beautiful double top with an ABCD confirmation up there at that 332. We then came straight down, I mean, without hardly any rally at all, all the way down to 255. We dropped 85 cents. That was into that big August. Then we made a beautiful double bottom where you took out the previous August low by just a penny or two and then turned. That's what you like to see. And that uh, CD leg on that uh, last bottom there was 1.618. So that's another interesting one. But we've got a beautiful pattern setting up here. If we can get the uh, copper to come down to about 272, we're trading around 281 and change this morning. But at uh, 272, that should get your interest because that's going to be a 61% retracement. And if you look at the cycle lows from August, December, and into June, right here in the middle of May to June, we should be making a cycle bottom there. And that will be a real interesting one to look at down the road. So... Those are a couple of things that I'm uh, keeping an eye on, whether they have any interest in, for you folks or not. But I'm watching the Apple because, you know, it gets the most free advertising of any company in the whole world. So uh, if it, we close below, if we close, the ideal close today in Apple would be right around 209.70, somewhere in that ballpark. And if it did, you could just short it or buy. The other thing you could do is buy a put. And if it doesn't open lower on Monday, then you just stand aside. That's uh, that's that's what you have to do because you're going to have a risk is going to be as as small as you can be. I mean, here you got a stock that's trading for 200 bucks, so uh, you know you do 100 shares, you're talking 20 grand. You don't have to risk very much. Those are the ideal situations. Uh, keep that risk right in front of you, and you'll know exactly you know where you are. So we'll look at it. Now, I don't believe that Mr. Z Mr. Z is asking about a double bottom in the June gold. Mr. Z, that puppy looks like it wants to trade at 1260. Silver looks lower. Platinum looks lower. I mean, I just don't see it here. And we've got that big new moon coming in on Saturday. So I really think that it's headed lower. That's my two cents worth. And believe me, sometimes I'm overpriced, but uh, that's what I'm watching. I think I have to wait for that. You know, and I have been bullish gold, but with that action that we had, uh, you know, the Wednesday, 
uh, and uh, Tuesday and Wednesday was not not good. I mean, we should have been a whole lot higher, and silver was acting poorly. Platinum certainly wasn't doing any favors. So, and platinum has given up the ghost. They they got to get another pattern in there on platinum to make it looks like it wants to uh, wants to hold up. Anyway, that's uh, the uh, the key thing to uh, to keep in mind. So those are just a few of the things that uh, we're watching here this morning at TFNN. Oh my goodness, we've got the uh, old clock on the wall says we've only got another. Uh, let's put the bonds up here because uh, we're uh, similar to the chart that Arch gave us. But you'll see here that uh, we've made these uh, retracement levels in the bonds and it looks like we want to uh, go lower here. So interest rates higher. That's what it looks like from the cheap seats. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six. Four, eight. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, I posted the 15-minute chart on gold going over the past week. And you can see here when Mr. Z was talking about that 1267.50, that was an exact 1.618 uh, expansion from the low we made back at 1276. And so that may be a pretty good low in this area. But, gee, the daily chart looks like it's got 1260 uh, written all over it. And silver looks lower, platinum looks lower. But, you know, we'll have to let the trading gods tell us because we're going to be watching this thing uh, today and, of course, tomorrow. But the, probably the safer place to look at it would be on Monday. You might have to pay up for it.
but at least you'll have an idea that some of these numbers would be holding. So that's what it looks like. If this is a really good bottom, we're going to rally above uh, 1286 very quickly. That's a $16 move. And frankly, after that big move down, I don't know if it's got enough power to do that in the gold. So these metals still look lower. I still think they're in near a buy zone, but uh, not yet. You want to wait for the completion. That's the way it looks. Had a really strong probability that we've had a major top of some, well, it could be minor top too. We don't know, but nobody else does either in the stock market with that three drive pattern, the triple top that Arch Crawford talked about. And those are other things that, uh, you know, we need to watch because it does. We had divergence between the uh, the Dow Jones, the Russell and the, the NASDAQ, of course, uh, and the S&P, was, which was the strongest up until yesterday. Now, uh, remember, folks, we do have Arch Crawford today. Tomorrow will be um, Norm Winsky, and uh, he's always an interesting uh, person to have on. Never in doubt with, uh, with Norm. He always has some good ideas. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. And try to help somebody that has a whole lot less than you this weekend, folks. There's a lot of people out there that are not doing very well. So 877-927-6648. And we'll see you on the flip side. 